white supremacist and a vice president that is uh, one of the most anti-gay uh, humans in this uh, country. And so we are in for uh, a difficult time, but again, I do believe that we can get past that. Our nation is divided. We have been assaulted. It's an act of terrorism. One of the most frightening things for me and most people in my life is that the people committing the assault are among us. It is not some stranger from some other country coming in and attacking our sense of what it means to be an American and the things that we stand for. And that makes it more painful because I'm sure that all of us have people in our families and our circle of friends that are a part of that movement and it is very difficult. We are way beyond Republicans and Democrats and we're really back to um, being a civil war. And I don't mean it in a fighting way, but our nation is divided as clearly as it was in civil war times. And my hope is that we will get some good leadership to help us to overcome that. Um, I will go over some coping skills, but before I do that, I do want you to know that the optimist in me, uh, first of all, we are the majority. More of us voted to not have that kind of uh, um, leadership, and we didn't win because of the way our electoral college is set up, but we are the majority, and that's helping me to feel better. I believe that we live in California. It is one of the best states. I have loved that. I love living here, but I'm especially proud of our legislature who did put out um, uh, a message, I hope you can see it. One of the things I'm doing to cope is to look for positive messages and glimmers of hope, that's the optimist in me. And uh, the California uh, legislative leaders did put up, see if I can get it, <coughs> did put something, and these are things you can find, uh, 